hi welcome once again on my video channels and for this class I'll be discussing about how you can model a window blind now we'll be using AutoCAD 2020 for our class for today mind you after the end of this tutorial if you really enjoy or learn one or two things from this video class please kindly like and subscribe to our youtube channel it helps us a lot in deciding on next video and also drop your comment mind you your comment encourages us to do more and us already also know our shortfalls on our video class so yeah that's how we go now this is a standard autocad interface i can see that i'm on 3d because i already have my modeling tools and they have my 2d drawing tools now i want to start with a simple window blind design whenever you want to do your own just make sure you have your specifications and that was going to help you a lot so i already have a window blind right inside my room so i'll be using that specifications to do that so here we go i have a length of about 60 feet so i'm going to start with a simple heads up so let me just go to my uh, my wireframes and i have this as top so i'll change my view to right your view matters a lot when you are doing a design like this but before i do that let me quickly check my units and see what i'm running on presently because my unit has to be set my interface needs to be set so let's press enter let's press the escape key units enter you can see i just need just one decimal and then i can have it in millimeter that's okay click ok and i can specify my limits as well because this will help me as a guideline toward my what i'm gonna achieve so i just want to have something between um between uh um, let me say i want to have something between uh six thousands by four thousands as the case may be so 6000 comma 4000 that's our y to x axis and i'll press enter then i have to complete my workspace setting with zoom enter all and i'll press the enter key as well so and that is good my model has been regenerated and then i can start with something here so for the first now to start with i will use my polyline tools to have the head up of my window blind so i'm going to select this and i'm going to just uh click this and then press f8 key on your keyboard so it's about 300 mm so just need something it's so 200 so i have 100 do that so I have 200 as well and I have 200 as well in a few moments you definitely understand what is happening so I'm changing my view to isometric view let's possibly have something like this and you can see what we've got here so now we are going to extrude this select it and then you can go, and go to extrude meanwhile if I should click on extrude direct you see that my object will be extruded and I want to extrude these at a length of about um, of 300, 300 that is uh, let's say we want to have something like about 1800 that's okay yeah let's go to front view yeah now you can see I have 1800 I can reselect that particular drawing now I can go to control one that is going to pop up the properties of my selection and then you can see that the extrusion is 1008 i can see 2100 so if i press enter you'll see that uh, 
it's continue to expand that's cool let me make it 2400 Just stop at that no, that's okay then we can close this property so take my drawing back to south west and south east view let's have shaded mode and see what we've got now you can see this is a solid surface object i'm going to take out my grid there's a surface object and you can see that my reference start line is there i can decide to delete this if i want to which is not a big deal i can just press the delete key that's gone and this object i can make it a solid object by just uh let's just shaded with edges so we can see what is happening good so now yeah I can go to my come to solid and I can say taken use the taken tools select this object press enter and it asks me for my taken value let me just say one and see what is going to happen and I have some little thickness that's about one and you can see this is cool so I've just been able to achieve the upper part of my window blind I'll go back to my right view modeling a window blind can be as simple as any other thing first what I want to understand is that the height I can have something like about uh, 1800 as a height so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to just use a very simple techniques so I'll select my line or I can use my polyline then I can have what I want to have so let me say polyline so from this point if I should click here I'm going as far as 1800 1800 good then 200 now this is going to serve as reference and I'll drop here back again so I'll click escape so now that's going to serve as reference now I'm not going to determine right here let's say construction line Excel and then I can have a construction line here my construction line I can just define an offset for it so let me just say offset I call it offset true hundred no sorry offset true hundred good and I can pick this you can see that there's a margin space in between that's too much so I use something like um, let's say 40 okay that's good then I can have every at every to 200 or every hundred so let's see offset again and then we can see 100 now good you know we have 1800 so you can see that the likely possibility that we are going to so this is good and then you can see that we continue to have we we'll progress and then uh, can see all this can serve as our reference line to achieve our window blind so I will continue to create that at every hundred I can use copy as well it can be much more faster using a multiple copy so but uh, let's just uh, complete that in this procedure Also ensure that you subscribe to our YouTube channels. We do videos like this on daily basis, helpful tutorials, as the case may be. So that's good. Now these are reference line. They are not too useful to our designs, but it helps us in achieving our goal. So let me select my polyline from this point to this point. I want to have a window blind that is slightly opened, and you can see what I have here now. So if I should take my design to south is isometric view now here i have it at 2400 so i can select this particular one then extrude in this direction at 2400 that's okay and then i can make it a solid object by right clicking here recent which is ticking then i'll select the object press enter that is one it's okay as well for me then i'll press enter as well again that's cool
now having this object the solid object I can go back to my right view then I can select it so you can see now that uh, it's very easy all I just do is to type CO that is to copy press enter on my keyboard then from this junctions to this junction that's why I told you that the reference line is very essential so we'll continue to generate that on that reference line until we are able to have everything so we continue to have that you can see it's just mapping to that point that's a good one that's good just hit the escape key from your keyboard and if I take my designs back to kind of a uh, isometrics view so you can see what we've got here now we have a nice window blind yeah we're not true with the designs so it's, it's as simple as that but we're not true with the designs now one of the things we want to do again is that uh, you can see that there are things that is binding the bi blinds together so I will go back to my southeast view and that is the reasons why that's my right view again and you can see that was the reasons why we have this um, uh, this thing so we need a base so we need something at the base we'll just press the escape key so I want to have a rectangle it also flipped the same way with the remaining one so but that's going to be in a rectangle format so let's just pick this and then from here we can have this now here yeah. select the and then I can punch it down a bit good so yeah go back to the whichever view we're working on select that last one is also a polar line that you can extrude it as well and then uh, that's about 2400 just enter key and that is that so we go back to right view again now if I just select this you can see that this is already existing so it's going to go through right inside our object there so it's like holding all the binds together excluding the top so the top we are supposed to extrude a bit backward which that's not a problem so we can always do with that so now I'm going to take my drawing back to right view as the case may be sorry south is view let's get all our reference line out we don't need them anymore just press the delete key on my keyboard then we can now look at what we have here like this line select it then you can extrude it as well so we just need a little extrusion so let's say we want to have something right about the uh, let's look something like about 50 first and see what it's going to give us that's okay but I can do better control one then I can make it something like a let's have 60 okay we are good with this close that we can make it a solid object as well right click let's look for recent oh, if we have taken there and then this times we can just say 0.5 instead of 1 0.5 and then you can see that we have good now this we have let's look for something like a front view that's very cool you can go to wireframe and then you can select this move it a bit in select M to move now you can see that the object snap is now disturbing my placement so I can off that by pressing F3 on my keyboard to turn that off first so I can move this in position I want to have one somewhere around here then I can select that then say copy CO to copy then I can try and 
position one let's say toward the end here that's okay and I want to have one just try and snap the midpoint so you can see that good so press the escape key now and I have the three of them like that let's have this perspective view and then let's have this shaded great or shaded of edges meanwhile we can take this out of our designs it's no more useful as I used to say but it can be still useful no 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 it's no more useful so let's just get that out just press the delete key on my keyboard good and you can see how we are able to have a window blind now mind you you also need the stroke undo that is used to control the to close and open of the window blind of which you can also do that as well which is not too difficult to achieve so you can always put that by one side and the likes of them like that so that is that about that for this making your window blind i believe you should be able to understand the simple techniques all you just need to do is to come to front view get a single straight line here let's quickly have that let me let's make let me make it a very complete preference class so i can use this even use the right view so let's just go to wireframe and we can see right view again then now i can have just a very simple straight line now the problem here is that uh, just comes over here want to assume it's coming from inside of our uh, let's see up to this extent press the escape key so we want to assume it's coming from inside our move a bit it's coming from this inside of this base the top now this top I'm having a problem so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete this top but before I do that because uh, you can see the, the movement of my top except if I there's a simple technique I can use to achieve this first I want this to be somewhere here then I need a second to go back at the same time let's get our southeast view know where we have our stuff which is here go to the top view and then we don't know where we have that yet but let's just make a circle so we can we are going to sweep through that circle i want to have a circle of right about uh, 30. let's see if that will not be too much control one let's drop it to 25. so let's let's have it at 25 if at all it's too large we'll definitely continue to readjust it so i'll go back to my southeast view and then you can see that here is the circle so i'll select that i'll say it should uh, sweep that circle along this path and then you can see what i've got here now take it to shaded upgrade and you can see that so you can see that is too much so we can undo that and they make the circle something tinier control one because it's just an undo so we we'll take it as low as uh, 15 if that's not too much just say 10 it's okay so now why is selected sweep yeah that's good then we'll go to the top view we can locate where that is now so we can reposition it right inside just move it and then you want to have it somewhere around here good what we actually need is two of this because one is going to control let's move again it's inside there good then i can select it and say copy one is going to control the open and close of the window blind the other is going to control the up and down release of the window blind as well that's the configuration of my window blind here so let's have another one somewhere that's cool now i'll go back to my southeast view as usual and then let's see what we've got here shaded of gray and you can see that now 
now this control handle it can have its own edge base now the back that we have that is not touching i want to use a simple technique to achieve that so i'm going to i'm going to come to my 3d here and i'll go to what i call selections filter and i'll say face so now I'll select this face having select this face i'll punch it out and you can see what i've got here now right about uh, let's say 50 good press the escape key let's perfect the view first let's say right view again and let's say now you can see that it has surpassed that particular base so we're good with what we have now so all we need to do is to go back to start is view again then we'll select the face from the inner as well now at this point we'll just say 50 as well so we're going to maintain the same distance right on the so go back here just say 50 again so our thickness is going to still be maintained so good then press the escape key and you can see that we have our thickness very appropriately Got the trade views and you can see that we now have the handle we have our window blind we have everything perfectly so all you just need to do is to start applying material refining your designs and making look it more interesting that is that about how you can model a window blind in some other subsequent class i have video tutorial on how you can model a generator plant uh, a diesel generator i have a tutorial where you can model a standing fan a ceiling fan and the likes of every other tutorial where you can model a refrigerators a center table designs uh, 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 a wine bar and the likes of them like that just subscribe to our youtube channel and of course you get more of this interesting video training tutorial thanks for watching this video tutorial don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment thank you